Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss further into, into improper integrals and now I'll go over example six of the example video series and solve this example which states determine whether the following function converges or diverges and that's the integral from zero to pi over two of secant x dx. So in this function, first thing we gotta recall is that this, this trigonomic function secant of x this is basically defined as one over cosine of x and you can see more on this in my earlier videos on trigonometry but now if we were to graph this uh, since we know how to graph cosine or you should be more familiar with it yeah the function cosine of x looks something like this I'll draw it in red it just keeps going on and on etc this is from uh, pi over 2 so this is from 0 to pi over 2 and this is the function um, y equals 2 cosine of x. So if, we're, if secant of x equals to 1 divided by cosine of x, yeah, then what we have is, well, we just look at all these points and just flip it upside down. And here it's, it's at 1. That's just 1. So 1 divided by 1 is just 1. But as you go here, it's getting closer and closer to 0. So 1 divided by, well, 0, you're getting a vertical asymptote line. So I draw it all the way across like this. So then this function keeps going up and up. And similarly for this left side too, you're just gonna get it going up and up. I'll draw this actually a bit more straight up. Yeah, and this is at negative pi over two. Yeah, so basically it's going to infinity here. And this, this function is the y equals secant of x. Since we're only dealing with uh, from zero to pi over two, we'll only deal with that. But for completeness sake, if you go to this side, the inverse is gonna be like this. I mean, not the inverse, the f when you flip it around, secant of x goes down like that, etc. So that's this function we're only dealing with from zero to pi over two. So what this means is uh, as as basically we approach this number pi over two. So as x approaches pi over two from the uh, left side, I'll put this negative sign. So as we're approaching it, the function secant of x is basically uh, approaching infinity here. So that's a vertical asymptote line. And it's a, again, it's a type two improper in, uh, integral asymptote. So vertical asymptote line. So what that means is this is an improper integral of type two, like I showed in my earlier video. And I'll just write that down for completeness. So it's a type two improper integral. But we could, uh, yeah, so basically we could write this as a limit. So this integral, we would have to write it as a limit pi over two of secant of x dx is equal to limit as t is approaching pi over two from the left side of, of now the integral from zero to t of secant x dx. So you have to write it as a limit. And now when we evaluate this, this equals two limit as t approaches pi over two from the left side with this negative sign. And now if you were to evaluate this, the integral of secant of x is just well long and you can see proof of this in my earlier video. So it's just, it's just equal to ln absolute value of secant of x plus tan of x. So make sure to watch that proof of this in an earlier video in the video link below. So from zero to t, so that's how that looks like. So now uh, before we evaluate this, just to get rid of this absolute value sign, recall that tan of x is positive. So recall, I'll go draw it here. If you were to draw the function tan of x, so, so if you, you should be familiar with this, it looks something like this. The, the function tan of x looks something like that, where again, here is the asymptote line for it. This is pi over two. If this function right here is y equals to tan of x. So this is going to infinity as pi, yeah, at, is, at x is approaching pi over two, but also this tan of x is always greater than zero for the interval, well, zero less than equal to x and less than pi over two. So it's greater than zero, so we can get rid of this absolute value sign because secant of x is also greater than zero. So this part here 
Um, so this range here is also greater than zero. So it's always gonna be positive, so we can get rid of this absolute value sign. And also here, I'll just write it down, limit as well x is approaching pi over two from the left-hand side of tan of x is also approaching infinity. Just uh, we'll, we'll need this uh, in a bit as well. So this means when we put all together, integral from zero to pi over two of secant x dx is equal to the limit as t approaches uh, pi over two from the left hand side. And then here if we evaluate it, now we can get rid of this absolute value sign. I'll just, I'll just get rid of that ln. Yeah, ln, and now this is gonna be secant of x. Yeah, plus 10 of x, and then evaluate it from zero to t. And now when we plug this in or just evaluate it, we get limit t is approaching pi over two from the left hand side. And now we have a ln, and then this is secant t plus 10 t. And now we're gonna be subtracting uh, from now we put the ln zero inside the secant. So secant of zero and then plus 10 of zero. And now this one, if you saw the uh, earlier graph above here, this is at one. So that value is just one, so at zero is one. And here for 10 of x, that's just zero. So this goes to zero, this goes to one, so we're just left with ln one. So this all together equals to limit, yeah, limit as t approaches pi over two from the left hand side is equal to ln and now secant t plus 10 t and then subtracted from, you know, subtracted by ln one. But uh, yes, yeah, so now, but since we just have this and we know that the tan of t and secant of t both approach uh, infinity as as t approaches pi over two. So and then the ln of infinity, well, that's just going to be also infinity. So this is actually divergent. So I'll just write that down. So this is divergent, and we don't get an answer. The limit does not exist. It just goes to infinity. And again, this is because so because right here secant t and tan of t, they both approach, well, infinity as t approaches pi over two from the left-hand side. And then this results into basically ln, yeah, and then ln of basically uh, secant t plus tan t. So you have just an infinite uh, number inside getting larger and larger. This also approaches to infinity again as t approaches pi over two from the left hand side. So it's infinity and it's divergent and we don't get an answer. It's just, yeah, so it's an infinite area. So this, this just means that this area, yeah, so this area under the curve here, I'll go right, right now, this is basically infinite area and you would never get an exact number. So it's an infinite area underneath this curve. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this uh, pretty useful example on integral as improper integral of a uh, trigonomic function. And, uh, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.